Hello and welcome to Pay Your Buddy. Mr. D here. Today we're going to learn about bugs. Let's get into it. So in this video you learn how many bones we have in the human body. You learn the structure of bones, what they're made up of. And finally you learn the four different types of bones. Here we go. So first of all, how many bones do you think are in the human body? Pause the video, have a think, and have a guess before I tell you the answer. So in the human adult body, there are 206 bones. Yes, that's right, 206. But here's a really interesting fact for you. When you were a baby, you actually have 300 bones. So how do we go from having 300 to 206? Well, as we enter the world, many of the bones in our skull and other parts of the body are in different pieces. And as we grow and develop, these fuse into single bones, bringing the total count down from 300 to 206. Pretty amazing, hey? Let's move on. So, what are bones made up of? To find out, we need to zoom in a little bit. Here's an example of a long bone. You'd find this in your legs and arms. There's lots of different features of this bone. We're going to focus on four in this video. Number one is the periosteum. So this is like the eggshell, this is the outer layer of the bone, as you can see here. Next we have the compact bone. This is the next layer in and this is a hard protective surface. Number three we have cancellous bone or spongy bone. As you can see here, no prizes for guessing where it gets its name from. This is in a honeycomb formation which gives it super duper strength and lightness. This helps keep our bones strong. And finally, we have the marrow cavity. This is where the bone marrow lives. Bone marrow is a jelly-like substance which contains many nutrients. So, to summarise, the periosteum, that's a hard outer shell which contains the blood vessels and nerves. The compact tissue is directly under that, that provides a hard, smooth layer. And we have the spongy tissue or the cancellous tissue. This is honeycomb shaped and it is super duper strong. Finally, we have the bone marrow. The bonus fact here, that in some bones, the bone marrow actually produces blood cells. An example of this would be in the pelvis. Okay, moving on, now we're gonna look at the four main types of bones, and here they are. We have the long bone, as we were looking at before, we have the short bone, we have the irregular bone, and we have the flat bone. Again, there's not too much creativity here, which is useful for us when we need to identify which types of bones are which. So here's an example in the body. In the top left here, we have long bones. So like we said before, in your arms and your legs. They're long, they are long bones. In the bottom left here, we have irregular bones. They have different shapes. Examples of this include the spine and parts of our skull. Here, we have short bones. These feature in our wrists and our ankles. In the top right here, we have flat bones. Again, this is part of our skull makes up our scapula, our sternum, and our pelvis. So they're the main four. There you go, you've made it, well done. Let's review to see how much you've learnt about bones. So number one, how many bones are there in the human adult body? Pause the video, write down this sentence on a piece of paper, and write down your answer. So there are 206 bones in the adult body. For a bonus point, how many bones are in a baby's body? Yep, that's right, 300. Moving on to our second review question. What are the bones made up of? Again, grab your piece of paper, write down one, two, three, and four, and fill in the answers. Good luck. So here we go, we have the periosteum, the compact tissue, the spongy tissue, or the cancellous tissue, and the bone marrow. These are the main features which make up our bones. Our third and final review question, what are the four different types of bone? Again with your piece of paper, write one, two, three and four, and fill in the blanks. How did you go? Number one, we have long bones, number two, short bones, number three, irregular bones, and number four, flat bones. Congratulations, you made it. How did you go? For a gold medal, you need three out of three review questions correct. For a silver, two out of three, and for a bronze, one out of three. If you didn't get a gold medal this time, I suggest you re-watch the video and have another go. Thank you very much for watching PE Buddy. 
If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, comment with any questions or feedback that you have, and if you want to learn more about anatomy, sport, fitness, health, make sure you subscribe. Thanks everyone. Bye.